Hey guys, what's up? It's Simba here. Thank you so much for joining me on the Vision Board Podcast. Okay, hi guys, hi guys. Welcome to the Vision Board Podcast. We have a very, very special guest, Mr. Jean Regi. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel good. I feel uh, maybe like you, a lot of questions, but uh, I feel good. I feel good to 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 help and to support because uh, I want to say thank you to, uh, to to give me the chance a little bit to to share my experience and mm-hmm. uh, I tried and uh, let's do this. It's really good. Yeah, honestly, your story really inspired me. Like I I was going through Facebook, Instagram, and. I knew, like, I love food, right? I don't know if any of you guys love food, but I also love to learn how to cook. I mean, for you, Mr. Jean Regis, I know you, you, you're you involved in the community. That's exactly how I found you. But how, like, my, my first question would be, like, what is one thing someone does not know about you, Chef Jean Regis? What oh, is one lot, thing? A lot, a lot, a lot. I think a lot. I think... Uh... I will say I'm someone that lives many lives, and I feel mm. privileged for that. Because I mean, there's a lot of things that people don't know, and uh, it's okay. It's, uh, not everybody has to know everything, but uh, I'm ready to share a couple of stories that bring me here today. No problem. Okay. Uh, can you give us one thing? One, one like a uh, habit, uh, uh, I don't know, a skill? I don't know, like... Are you... I think I will say that uh, I'm born and grew up in Africa. Wow. And I think a lot okay. of people don't realize that because uh, my my story is a little bit atypique. I don't know if you see in English, it's a little bit atypique, but I'm born, in, um, I'm born in Africa. I do all my childhood in Africa. Oh, uh, where where were exactly were you born? Uh, record, but no, I didn't grow up in the city either. I grew up in the countryside. Oh, wait, 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 uh, where, which part in Africa? Uh, Ivory Coast, Côte d'Ivoire. Ah, well, okay, that's cool. Uh, that I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, okay, well, we start somewhere. <laughs> we start oh, somewhere. Uh, okay, yeah. so, a uh, deuxième question, um, I mean, we can ask in French, right? Um, Qu'est-ce que vous ferez plus en 2023? Qu'est-ce que je ferai plus ou plus? Plus. Plus, oh, Euh, je vais travailler plus, ça c'est sûr. Euh, je vais travailler plus. Euh, je, je suis en train de préparer mon retour en Afrique. Donc, oh, euh, ça, demande, ça demande euh, euh, beaucoup de travail. J'ai aussi un restaurant ici qui me demande beaucoup de travail. Mm-hmm. Donc, euh, je, je reviens juste d'Afrique. J'étais en Afrique il y a deux semaines. Donc, je viens juste de revenir. Et mm-hmm. ce voyage m'a, 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 m'a donné la motivation. Euh, mm-hmm. J'avais besoin pour réaliser ce projet. Euh, retourner en Afrique pour beaucoup de gens, c'est quand même un challenge. Mm-hmm. Euh, c'est un challenge, c'est pas quand même, c'est un challenge, il faut dire. Il y a, 100%. C'est, c'est, c'est un challenge. Et euh, là, je vais rentrer dans la préparation de ce mm-hmm. challenge pour les années qui viennent. Et donc, euh, cette année, ça va être euh, une année où il va falloir que je sois euh, beaucoup plus compétitif sur euh, plein de chantiers, mon retour en Afrique, le restaurant... Plus aussi, j'ai d'autres compagnies que je développe à côté. Uh, j'a- j'adore ça, mais, uh, chef Jean Régis. Uh, <rire> tu as parlé de les challenges, tu as parlé de ton restaurant. Uh, c'est très, très, très um, spécial que tu as beaucoup de choses um, et tu, tu, tu as commencé comme un chef. Uh, la question que tout le monde veut savoir, c'est que uh, ça, c'est le Vision Board podcast. Uh, les questions que tout le monde veut savoir, c'est que les conseils que vous avez pour le futur chef. Moi, je ne suis pas un chef, mais ouais. s'il y, y a des gens qui sont mon âge qui veulent savoir comment uh, être uh, uh, dans cette uh, compagnie. Ouais, je... okay. uh, c'est, c'est, une, c'est une question, uh, c'est une question un, un, un peu dure. Je vais essayer de répondre un peu avec moi et mon expérience. Mm-hmm. Uh, quand tout ce que je dis, c'est moi et mon expérience. Uh, je dirais déjà... Euh, c'est beaucoup de gens qui disent qu'il faut être passionné. Et euh, c'est mmh. vrai, la passion, c'est important. Mais euh, je pense que euh, les jeunes chefs aujourd'hui, euh, ceux qui ont la passion, ce n'est pas juste de, de manger ou de cuisiner, parce que cuisiner, c'est, c'est partager, en fait. Mmh. Tu, que j'ai un restaurant, même si ça reste, un, il y a le côté, euh, c'est cuisine à la maison où tu partages pour tes amis. Et puis, tu as le côté business où tu dois euh, payer les factures, où tu dois fermer. 
tu dois garder cette idée de, de, de partager avec les gens. Ah. En disant que, euh, il faut, souvent, c'est un peu des cas parce que tout le monde dit la passion, la passion, la passion. Mm -hmm. Moi, je dis que la passion, ça ne fait pas tout. Des fois, juste l'envie de que quelqu'un vient, euh, quel, tu vas cuisiner pour quelqu'un qui te paye ou qui ne te paye pas. Mm -hmm. si, je, si je parle trop vite en français, tu me dis. Hein. Euh, qui, qui, qui te paie ou qui ne paye pas, tu dois quand même euh, tu dois avoir ce désir de dire je veux que cette personne passe un bon moment mm -hmm. à travers quelque chose que moi je vais euh, cuisiner, ça veut dire que techniquement je vais fabriquer. Et ça, c'est important euh, d'avoir ça, je dirais, pour tous les jeunes chefs, d'avoir cette idée que euh, euh, quand tu cuisines, tu donnes, des, tu donnes un plaisir, tu donnes des sensations à quelqu'un. Et ça, c'est ta signature, c'est ton caractère, c'est qui tu es. Et beaucoup de chefs, des fois, je pense, oublient ça parce que c'est un métier dur, l'industrie, les horaires, la vie. Mais euh, si tu as ça pour commencer et après, euh, euh, c'est plus facile de construire le reste, je dirais. C'est plus facile sur le long terme, sur les années qui vont venir, c'est ça qui va te préserver. Parce que la passion, ça vient, ça part, c'est comme l'amour. Aujourd'hui, tu es passionné. Demain, euh, tu es un peu moins passionné. <rire> c est, c est quand, après, demain, tu es super passionné. Donc, euh, d'avoir ouais. toujours une idée de quand tu fais quelque chose pour la personne, de vraiment lui faire plaisir. Ça, ça c'est vrai. Parce que si tu n'as pas les passions, c'est impossible. Um, ouais. dans, cette vie, dans cette vie, comme tu as dit, tu vas vois, tu vois avoir des challenges, les horreurs. Tu dois mmh. avoir les, les passions là. OK. Now, I want to know this... We're going to end it off in English here. Uh, so your story is amazing. I know you have a lot of things to do, John. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on the Vision Board podcast. Um, but now your aha moment. I want to know, what would you say is your biggest aha moment? Like what I mean by aha is, okay, your biggest, oh my God, moment. Uh, positive or negative? Okay. Uh, uh, positive okay. and negative. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stay negative. It's like I said, you know, some, I'm talking about my, own ex, my experience and my situation as a business owner. Mm -hmm. It happens sometimes I come in the restaurant and I have zero aspiration. Wow. And it's hard. And this thing happens most of the time where uh, life crush you a little bit or you get tired or, you know, ch life challenge. It is a part of life. Uh, is is difficult when you come and you feel empty because mm -hmm. the cooking is still, uh, it's still hard. You still have to create something. You have to create sensation. Yeah, you need to create sensation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel the hardest point, it was like when, uh, yeah, there's nothing coming from you. You try to look ideal. You try to look what I'm going to do, what I have to do. You need something. And you're in a leader position too. Don't forget the, the domino yes. effect. Like if you, you as a leader, you're not inspired. It's not the person on the back going to be inspired. That thing is, a, is a, that, that was a tough moment. And good moment, I will say a lot. I mean, it's a, um, you know, when you see the restaurant food and people uh, laughing, You know, you just en, see people enjoying, laughing. Enjoying, eating. Oh, this guy have good time. This is just what I want. And they wanted to, to these people to have good time. And I think that applies for every kind of business. That mm -hmm. when you see people enjoying what you do, and uh, uh, that's good. Or even when people come to a restaurant with a friend and say, oh, this is my place. And you say, mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's great. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. that's, I win. I, I, I'm a, I win. That's mean, there's a lot of things like this that is fulfilling. And, and uh Yeah, that's it. Uh, that that will say that is a motivator. I'm I'm a simple person. You know? I enjoy yeah. simple things. That's thing. Thing like this, I really, I really, uh, I really like it. And and as well, I I, I find a way uh, beside the situation, uh, the the working market and everything, to have good people around me working with me and uh, working the project. Uh, that's me. That's as well. It's really. Uh, It's really flattering. It's really flattering when people uh, understand what you're doing. And yes. uh, if, even if I pay them, they still have to come. They still have to, to develop uh, desire and respect and, and care. And uh, I have that around me. And, uh, and it's really good. It's really good. I don't know for how long, but it's really good.
That's uh, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for getting it done at the Vision Board Podcast. Jean, can you shout out your restaurant? People who want to go there, how can oh. they find your restaurant on okay. social media? I'm on social media. The restaurant, uh, the name is Le Baratin. It's a French restaurant. Uh, mm. it, uh, we're doing traditional food. That's when I work on the on uh, my grand grandmother recipe, mine and other grandmother recipe that I update for Toronto. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm on social media. My Instagram account is Le Baratin uh, YYZ, YYZ, because of you have to know as many Baratin in the world. Yes, yes, yes. And it's good. It's really, really good. It's really good. But the Toronto one is the Baratin YYZ. Le Baratin YYZ. Great. Okay. Yeah. We will add it to the. Um... Uh, in description box, don't don't worry about that. Et un chanson que tu as maintenant, si tu écoutes à quelle chanson? On va. Uh, uh, ah, je me rappelle cette question. I remember this question. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. I don't know. Alors, why right now you have to see I'm a little bit in the mood of uh, have moods. Okay. Right now, <laughs> song I really like is uh, uh, I'm gonna check because I don't want to spell bad. Is on mm-hmm. my YouTube uh, my YouTube top. And uh, what they say. Alors, is Glitch Africa is a, a unplugged version, acoustic version. Uh-huh. Uh, it's not a studio version. It, I don't know, my, my English is not the best, but is a finesse. Uh, yes. Everybody knows this song, but I, I advise to, to listen to the Glitch Africa version. And, and it's with the band in the side, with the instruments and with the chorus. And honestly, ah, beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. Jean, congratulations. Thank you so much. On va se parler. Sans you, problem. Have, uh, you have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank Pense you very toi. much. Thank you. Thank you. Merci pour de l'opportunité. Mm-hmm. And I want to meet you in, in real anytime you come to the restaurant. Please say hi. And okay. We'll be nice to see you. Okay, my friend. Pas de problème. Bye, everybody. Toi. Keep Au it revoir. positive. Uh, we will be success. All of us. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>